Hi everyone, welcome back to Hope and Coffee. And today we are just kind of relaxing. Today we are trying to take it easy. This has been the first week of our 90 day restart or reboot. And I wanted to kind of check in with everyone and see how you all are doing. And also I wanted to kind of check in with myself and see how I was doing and just kind of let you all know how my first week went. Now, I will say I kind of gave myself a little bit of a self-care week. I only worked one day this week and went into work, kind of had a game plan of all the things that I wanted to accomplish so I would feel really good about the things that I um, didn't have to think about while I was at home. So, um, now I did today get some text messages from work, which I was not super happy about because this is my self-care week and I, um, could have been very occupied by doing, like, if I had gone out of town the way I had originally planned, then I would not have been available to take those text messages because I would have been occupied doing other things. However, I was here and was able to respond, but I felt as though those text messages were unnecessary because there is a level of self-sufficiency that when someone is out of town and on vacation, that, um, that should be taken into account. So don't ask someone for information that they already have or ask them to do something when they're on vacation. Like that was inappropriate and I thought that was inappropriate. So I kind of responded, I said, I'm unable to complete that. Um, I will address it on Monday unless you wanna take care of it today. And that was how I responded because I was not about to stop what I was doing currently or what I was doing earlier today in order to address it or I was going to clock work hours if I stopped my self-care week. So I just feel like that was kind of more or less my appropriate, um, my appropriate response because I don't live to work. And when I'm on vacation and when I am checked out of work, that um, it is not in my purview. However, if it's something that I feel like I dropped the ball on, I will then take responsibility for that and that that would make sense. However, I didn't feel like I dropped the ball on it. And so um, it just felt like something administrative that could be done by someone else. Going back to my self-care week and my first, first week of my reboot, uh, I feel like that was kind of a segue into me being able to say no. Uh, me being able to take a step away to say no, to set a boundary, and to not feel as though I needed to partake of something that someone else saw as an obligation for me. Um, it was not an obligation I saw for myself, and so I let it go back into their court. Um, other things that I have been doing this week, I have been doing a lot of reading. Um, and I feel very good about that because as you've seen on this channel, I do a lot of kind of book check-ins and I really love that because in previous years and even in previous months, it has been hard for me at times to dive into a book. I feel as though sometimes my concentration and my focus is very flighty, uh, especially if I'm feeling overwhelmed or I'm feeling anxious. Um, but here lately, it's not been too bad, and so these books are giving me an outlet for that, um, for me to be able to kind of dive in again the way I know I love doing. Um, what else have I been doing? I've uh, been drinking not only coffee, but tea. Uh, so I'll do coffee earlier in the day and around about four or so in the afternoon. I may switch to a tea. So actually right now, this is not coffee, so it is my coffee mug, and it is my new little Argos mug, but uh, earlier, uh, as I was recording some episodes, as I was switching between um, 
going to get another cup. I actually got some peppermint tea. So peppermint tea is one of my favorites. I find it very warming and welcoming, um, but I also find it slightly energizing without any of the caffeine. So um, also a, just a very good shift. Uh, I like an English breakfast as well, although that does still have the caffeine in it. And something else that I pulled out that I have started on a little bit this week is one of my um, kind of my paint by number projects. And it's an adult paint by number. And this is actually a spirited away paint by number. It is, um, I don't know if you'll be able to really tell, but it is, um, it's Haku and uh, Chiro, Chihiro, down home to bottom. So it's gonna be really pretty. I think when it's gonna be done, it's gonna be kind of watercolor-ish. Now this is the first one that kind of came with these tiny little tubes. Usually I'm, I'm used to the, these tiny little pots uh, where you flip up the lids and stuff like that. But this one is the first one that came with all these tiny little tubes. So that's been different and it came with this little flower petal kind of paint tray. Uh, those are my brushes that I kind of purchased a little while back when I started really getting into um, the adult, what I call the adult paint by numbers because it does have some really small spaces. But I, I find it really cathartic and enjoyable. Um, you do need some fairly good lighting for that. Um, so it's hard for me to sit in my bed with my lap tray and do it because my lamp light's usually just not enough. So I'll usually sit on the couch over here and the lamp next to that or my triple, my triple globe lamp that's over here in the corner. I'll turn on one of those, which are much better lighting and I'll have my lap tray in my lap and then I'll do it that way. Um, but of course, I've been keeping up with my planner and I've been doing real, really well with that. I will say, and I will admit, I have not been the best with um, focusing on my food as well as I've wanted, even though I have met my exercise goal each day. Uh, but I got my Walmart order yesterday, so I feel good about that. And today has been pretty good. I have started um, just keeping track of my macros, not my calories, so more of my proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, rather than um, my calorie count. So it's really more about that for me, just kind of prioritizing the protein, getting some good lean protein, beans, chicken, chia seeds, flax seeds, Greek yogurt, those sorts of things, and um, kind of then tapering down from there. So making sure I have that good protein where I feel full, and then I get like the dietary fiber, the vegetables, and then I can go into the other starchy carbohydrates behind that. And then the fats are more my, my fillers and stuff of that nature. So that's just how I'm building my nutrition. Like I said, I've really only kind of been able to start focusing on that today because I got my Walmart order yesterday. Tuesday was a holiday, so it's kind of hard to do that when you're kind of in, getting invited to a cookout. And I um, had a friend in town over the weekend, so didn't really do that. And so I started fresh, what I would say today, and that's okay. You know what? We start where we are, and we do... With, we do the best we can. So I'm okay with that. I'm doing great. I feel really good about myself. My sleep has been wonderful this week because I've been off work, because I feel like I haven't um, overly burdened myself with too much going on. I haven't really pushed myself to take on too much. And because I've had a good plan, I feel as though my sleep has been a lot better this week and I'm really looking forward to my next seven days and the rest of my 90 day journey. So thank you so much for tuning in with me and I'll see you all on the next page.